Hi everybody, this is Mr. Shakespeare again. Uh, I'm here with the amazing Liz Cross, psychic medium, remote, remote viewer. Uh, how, how are you doing, Liz? How's everything over there? Yeah, we're doing great, thanks. I'm doing very well, amazing. Again, another stretch word, but thank you. <laughs> Well, I have to, we have to come up with new introductions that are just so different to the one we yeah. did. Yeah. It, it's so funny to me because when I do readings, I'll get people and they're so excited to talk to me. I mean, of course, they're waiting a couple of months because the queue is so long, but uh, they're like, Liz, oh my God, you're the person I hear on the YouTube. And I, I'm like, you, I am. <laughs> It just doesn't, you know, I don't even think about it. So it's funny because I'm just like, people listen to me. That's weird. Mm. <laughs> anyway, who do we have here? This is Benjamin Fulford. Never heard of him. Okay. Um, Canadian by birth, journalist by trade. Uh, he came to fame years ago because he interviewed David Rockefeller. Oh. He's now... Lives in Japan, speaks fluent Japanese, um, and has interviewed and has good connections on a global basis for quite some years. Mm -hmm. so, Great. So uh, this will be a shortish video because we just want to know what's going on now, and then we'll push him forward a few months as usual and uh, just to see what's going on. So have you got a good connection with him? I do. Okay. How's he doing at the moment? What's he up to? What are you up to? I feel like he's writing a book. Okay. Is it about current events or? Is it about current events? I do feel like it's about current events. I feel like he's going to group a, a load of people to, you know, together to, to make a, a philosophical book. Right. Is he still in Japan? I feel like he travels a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how is Japan doing at the moment? How is Japan doing at the moment? I feel like the economy is pretty bad there as well, um, mm. which is surprising because normally Japan can weather the storm. They don't have the same hits that we have, right? Um, it just seems like... Uh, they normally seem to, to have different hits at different times unrelated to anything else. Right. Okay. Um, what has been the effect of the Fed raising the interest rates on um, has, how's Japan, Japanese and companies and people coped with that? Has it affected them? Has it affected them? Yes, it has. Right. Okay. Not for um, the better. No. Can we move him forward now to January, first week of January, end of the first week of January 2023? Okay. So January 7th, January 7th, 2023, 8 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Uh, what would you like to know? What was the highlights of the last two months? Um, of the of 2022 what were the highlights that that happened that that he that he took note of what were the highlights that happened in 2022 the last two months that you took note of he immediately says war to me um and what what about it i feel like it may be over or it's coming cl to a close okay has there been any other war in the Asian Asia region, you know, the uh, Pacific Ocean region, that sort of thing? Mm -hmm. China, Taiwan, Philippines, anything that he knows that's happened? Has there been any major flight bombings or incidents that in the Asian region? No. Right. Okay. How's the economy doing in Japan? 
How's the economy doing in Japan? It's recovering, but slowly. Okay. Um, what's happened to cryptocurrencies? What's happened to cryptocurrencies? He says, I don't care about cryptos anymore. Okay. When did he stop caring? When did you stop caring? In 2022. Why? And why and when? Why did you stop? Because he thinks they're a scam. Um, and when in 2022? I feel like just uh, in the fall. Okay. Was that after a big crash? Was that after a big crash? Uh, he just found another big crash was coming and he wanted to get out. Okay. Where does he uh, where does he suggest people invest their funds, their money? If cryptos, you know, the average guy in the street that doesn't necessarily trust a banking system, but you know, might have been in cryptos. I mean, what what what, what would he suggest? What, what, what would he suggest? Invest their money, property. Okay, in real estate, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything else? What about gold? What about gold? No, he doesn't trust gold. What about silver? What about silver? No, doesn't trust that either. What about stock market? What about the stock market? No, that's tanked. Okay, the bond market? Bond market? Yes, if you want small returns. Okay. Uh, is there anything worth investing in apart from property, or is it just property he's recommended? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Is there anything worth? In his personal mind thought feeling opinion no property is the best way right okay um what does he see the outlook uh for for 2023 globally is there anything of note that he because he's quite a connected person so he you know he has lots of information and contacts what does he see bleak bleak mm -hmm. okay is there any problem with food shortages? No food shortages. Not where he is. Right. Is he aware of food shortages anywhere else, like the European Union, like America? Yes, he says, I'm aware of the cost of food, but he doesn't really uh, pay much attention to the food shortage issue. But the cost of food is what he's focused on. Right. Um. So it must be significantly higher than it is at, say, July 2022. So significantly higher than July 2022. Yes, it does tend to go up a bit more. Okay. How's oil doing? How's oil doing? Down the pan. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's scrambling for oil. And no one wants to sell it or no one wants to use their reserves? What, what's the problem with oil, does he think? The reserves. Nobody wants to use their reserves. They don't want to tap into that. Right. How's the oil price? Is it holding up or is it tanked? Has the oil price held up or has it tanked? It's uh, held up. Okay. Okay, what advice would he give anybody in July 2022 to prepare? I mean, what, what, what advice could he give? You know, what would he say to people to prepare for the oncoming problems? What, you know? what advice would you give to prepare for the... He says, get out while you can. Get um, out of what, though? Get out of get what? Out of what? <laughs> Cryptos. Okay. Is that the only advice? What about if somebody isn't in crypto? What stock would say? market. Get out of the stock market. Hold your cash. Oh, okay. So this is a cash thing again. Mm. <clears throat> is he an advocate of holding cash then? Are you an advocate of holding cash? He goes, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right. Okay. I know we've been doing this a while today, so I'm going to hold that one there. Uh, you can drop him and... Uh, That'll be all for today. Great. Well, thank you so much. And again, uh, find us on the Patreon.
forward slash remote viewing and beyond. Mr. Shakespeare has his own little category on the Discord. And again, my reading site is down. It's under construction at the moment. It will be up soon, hopefully. And the new website is going to be psychiclizcross.com. I will put out an announcement when it is up and running. So I'm sorry about that, but don't worry. Nobody else is joining the queue and the queue, I believe at the moment is still out into October. So uh, it doesn't matter if you're not able to book right now because the queue hasn't changed. Thank you so much, everyone.